guys, how's it going? Um, but, uh, my name is Victor Counted. I hope you're all well. Today, I want to talk about something that I think is very important, right? Um, I want to talk about the uh, imposter syndrome. Um, and today we're going to be talking about this topic because I think it's often discussed, but oftentimes not well understood. Now, uh, imposter syndrome. It's that feeling of inadequacy and self-doubt and that many people experience, even when they are successful and very much accomplished. So uh, uh, what's the solution to imposter syndrome? I believe that it's building competence. Now, in this video, I'll explain why building competence is the solution to imposter syndrome. Stay with me. Um, now... I'll give some of the reasons why I think that building competence is a solution to imposter syndrome. Number one reason is the fact that competence builds confidence. Now, uh, 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 competence builds competence. Confidence. Competence builds com confidence. Now, imposter syndrome often arise, um, arises from a lack of confidence in our abilities. And so we feel like we we are not qualified to do a job or that we are not qualified. We don't deserve the success that we will achieve. However, when you build competent, right, you become, um, you become more confident, confident in your skill, in your craft and in your knowledge. Uh, and you will know that you work hard. You know this because you work hard to develop your abilities and you, you you also feel more secure in your position. And so this, this increased confidence in confidence in your craft will definitely help you to overcome an imposter syndrome and, and believe in yourself and in, in your abilities. Now, the second reason why building competence is the solution to imposter syndrome is that competence reduces self-doubt. Now, Imposter syndrome often arises from self-doubt, uh, which can, of course, be as a result of a lack of experience or a lack of knowledge. However, when you build competence, when you build competence, you will gain experience and knowledge, which will reduce your self-doubt. And so, so uh, I think you will be able to also handle difficult situations more effectively because you build competence in your craft. And you would know how to solve solutions, problems that may arise as a result of that. And so this increased knowledge, right, and experience uh, often would help you to feel more secure in your abilities and therefore reduce it. Uh, the self-doubt that may contribute to the imposter syndrome. Uh, and so I think that competence reduces self-doubt. And so what she had a reduced self-doubt level of cell doubt definitely it will dismantle any feeling of imposter syndrome that you might have but also i think the third reason why uh building competence it's the solution to imposter syndrome the third reason um <laughs> the third reason it is that competence really improves uh competent performance um, and competent people would score higher level, would score higher performance. Now, when you are competent in your job, uh, you will be able to perform to, uh, you will be able to perform at a higher level. And so you will be able to complete tasks much more efficiently and effectively than your past. You will be able to also take on new challenges with greater, with greater ease. And, and I think that's very important. Because as you take a new challenge with greater ease, you're likely to perform more and also produce more. And as you improve your performance, you will receive more pos positive feedback from your colleagues and your superiors, which will reinforce your confidence in your competence. Now, this positive feedback will help you to also overcome any imposter syndrome you have and believe in yourself and in your abilities. Now, it improves the performance. And so, in conclusion, uh, I believe that building before competence is a solution to imposter syndrome. Uh, I think that that's the best way to deal with imposter syndrome. 
focus on building competence. By building competence, you will become more confident in your abilities and reduce self-doubt and improve your performance. And so if you're struggling with imposter syndrome, I have this, I, I, I'll have to tell you this, you should focus on building your competence. Take courses, learn new skills, and seek out opportunities to gain experience and enhance your competence. And as you become more competent, you will you are naturally overcome it at imposter syndrome because you are one of the sought after fellows in your field. And so, um, as you do that, you also achieve greater success because I think that it comes down to really refining your craft. That once you do that, you'd be surprised how you become someone that a lot of people will look up to. So, thank you for watching. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.